What's up, Glam Girl Squad? Welcome to part three of the HD Lace Wig Series. If you have made it this far, girl, pat yourself on the back because, sis, you are a real one. Before we dive into part three, let's reminisce on what it took to get from this black wig to this beautiful honey brown color that we have going on now. Oh my gosh, y'all, she looks so pretty. In part one, I showed you guys how to sew on a bundle to your wig to add volume and to add fullness. And y'all really did a good job at that. And then I showed you guys how to mix your bleaching and developer together to achieve the perfect consistency. Then we jumped into actually adding the bleaching developer to your hair so that you can really get that beautiful salon look, but you really did it at home. Our little secret, by the way. In part two, we jumped into plucking your frontal wig and oh my gosh it came out looking gorgeous then i taught you how to press out your frontal using a hot comb and then also using a flat iron to straighten it to the gods if you have what it takes and you are ready girl let's dive into part three where we are doing the install let's go now let's jump into the install. So for today, I'm going to be using the ball cap method with the Gots To Be Free Spray. This is technically a glueless method because you're not using wig glue. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to be spraying the Gots To Be Spray all around my edges and a little bit on my hairline. The point of this is to really protect your edges at all costs because you really want to keep them. But in this case, they're not going to be too effective because again, I'm not going to be using wig glue. I'm just going to be using this Gots To Be Spray. So I'm going to grab my blow dryer. We're going to go ahead and make sure that it dries quickly because we're trying to get cute real quick and we're trying to look real cute okay so then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna cut the bald cap off and typically i would use a eyebrow razor but today i did not have one i couldn't find mine so i just opted to use some scissors but again use what works best for you so i'm gonna be trimming the cap off my head and just make sure that it is right in front of my hairline and just so that the edges again are protected at all costs if you guys do not know but i did go ahead and just for the sake of saying it i did braid my hair down in about maybe like six or seven cornrows and then i just slipped it in the back just so you guys know that underneath the cap is braids so next I go ahead and I add my wig on and I mean, girl, look how bomb she is looking. But to really get a seamless process, you want to grab a foundation powder that really um, blends in with your skin tone. And you just want to go ahead and just apply that to the ball cap just to really get it to really blend. Because right now the cap is giving okay vibes and we really want this to be seamless. So I'm just going to go ahead and just press on that foundation powder <laughs> into the cap. <laughs> So next I'm gonna go ahead and just grab my wig and you're not gonna grab it too rough, just pull it towards where you want it to be. I personally like to have my wig come a little bit in front of my edges, just in case I do end up changing my breathing pattern, I could always still put the wig on as I would in the beginning. So next I'm gonna pull the hair back and I'm gonna grab my gods to be spray and just spray it right in the beginning of the hairline of the wig. And then you're gonna grab your blow dryer and then just blow dry it on cool just to make sure that the wig is down. If you guys notice, I'm pulling the wig down and then I'm just spraying it at the same time. This is how you're gonna get that no glue free spray look to the wig. So then after everything is dry, I just run my rat tail comb and just kind of comb out the free spray because at first it's a little bit hard. You just want to make sure that it's just like really combed out. And honestly, it looks so good. So now I'm going to start by cutting the lace. And again, you're going to cut it just like you cut off that ball cap. So you're just going to go and start from the middle and then just work in zigzag motions because you don't want the wig, the lace, sorry. You don't want the lace to be cut real straight line. You want it to be zigzaggy so it can mimic like an actual hairline. So I'm just working and I'm just cutting the lace off. And again, just take your time with this because you are close to your hairline and you are close to your skin. So honestly right now i'm getting a little bit nervous because you see how it's like a little bit like white and like ashy around the hairline so i'm just like oh my god i really hope this works because it's looking a little bit like wiggy right now so i'm honestly just like trusting the process and this is where the free spray is down so i'm just making sure to just cut everything off cut the lace off you want to get as close to the hairline as possible so just take your time and really cutting that lace off and really just making sure it looks bomb because that's the goal right we want to look bomb we want everything to look bomb okay okay are y'all with me how y'all doing so far 
Take your time with cutting around the ears, just because you don't want to cut your ear off, obviously. But <laughs> take your time when you're cutting around the ears. And just remember that some of the lace has to go. Don't try to protect the lace at all costs. Like some of it really does have to go. So just, you know, trim the areas and customize it to your hairline. Next, I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite end. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the lace off like I did before. But I mean, look at the vibes that this scalp is giving. Like, it really benefits when you take your time to pluck and tweeze because that's when you get a really bomb install. Okay, so here is what our hairline is giving right now. There's a white cast all around, and I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of that because right now I'm like, what is going on? So I'm going to grab a little, bit of, a little bit of water on a paper towel, and I'm just going to press the water into the lace. And just be mindful that got to be does come off with water, so we're just going to have to go ahead and apply a little bit more in certain areas that are starting to lift up. But that's no issue. Grab your got to be spray, spray it down, and then grab your blow dryer and just blow it out. So next, let's move on to some baby hair. So I'm gonna start by pulling out the hairline and just like looking around and seeing where I want the baby hairs to fall. I'm not really sure what kind of vibe I'm about to give. So I'm just like making sure that all areas are down, any part that's lifting. This part is really just here for you to just like see what your lace is giving and to customize it. So it's all dependent upon what you wanna do. To be honest, this is like my first time for real, for real doing baby hairs. So I am learning just like you are. I'm not an expert, I know baby hairs, but I have been around a bunch of different hairstylists. So I kinda have a good idea of the the tips and the tricks that you need to do and also I just be looking at the baby hairs you can kind of see like you know where to cut and where you shouldn't cut and it's just a matter of just playing around with it so I'm just pulling some of the baby hairs out um, because the wig does come with like some shorter hairs in the front so I'm just pulling them out I grab my hot comb just to move the actual hair out the way and just to really flatten it before we go ahead and customize our baby hairs. I really love this golden hot hot comb. Just be mindful again, you have to have it on for a little bit for it to be real hot. It's not like the old school hot combs that you can just put on the stove and just like wait for it to heat up. Nah, this is like the new age stuff and it does take a little bit longer to warm up. But once she is hot, this gives you that real like perm look to your hair and it just gives you that nice like flawless like vibe to it and y'all look how bomb this lace is looking i mean get into this snob life hd lace y'all i'm telling y'all once you go hd you could never go back so now i'm just going ahead and i'm just thinning out the baby hairs they're looking a little bit thick and this is another secret too so make sure your baby hairs are giving thin vibes and like i said before just play around with it so now i'm like uh i want to do something else besides the middle part so i just I'm like okay i'll do a side part which i'm kind of liking so far but i kind of do like the middle part i don't know but for the sake of the video, we're gonna do a side part. So because I trained the hair with the flat iron before to just like, you know, really just like be at that middle part. And now we have to retrain it, which is not an issue. We just have to retrain it to be a side part. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, separate out the hair, separate out the hairline, just make sure it is where I want it to be. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to hot comb the areas and just really move that hair over to the side. That's what the benefits of the hot comb is so that you don't really have to do too much work you could just literally just like hot comb it and it just goes where you need it to go so i just start pulling out some of my baby hairs and just kind of getting an idea of where i want them to go and it's just all like you know it's all just like play just like play around with it decide where you want them to go and then just like trim them again i would ideally like to use a eyebrow razor but since i don't have one you gotta opt to use scissors and just kind of get innovative so use what you have uh, just be very very careful because you are in front of your face and you're next to your eyes and you're next to all of that so just be real real careful when you're cutting out the baby hairs um so today i wanted to go for like an effortless kind of baby hair look it's definitely something that i've never done on myself before so i have some inspo hair by him my boy paul hey paul um, I really like how he does baby hairs. I like, he's like the baby hair goat to me. He's based out of Atlanta. So um, 
hit him up i think his instagram now is official hair by him but i just went off of one of the pictures he had as my inspo so i just like i don't know i just played around with it like there's really no secret i grabbed some nairobi and i'm just like molding the hairs to where i want it to be and just like playing around and like trimming them where i feel like they need to be trimmed plucking stuff where i feel like it needs to be plucked and this is all like literally a game for me like there's really no real strategy you just have to just customize it to your liking and cut the hairs how you want them to be molded so you know i'm just like brushing them and then i'm like moving on to my ear flaps because i'm like let me just leave the front of my hair alone like let me just move on to a different size so then i just you know just like kind of just cut the hairs into like a cute little air which some people leave it like that but then i'm like let me just mold them so i just like again i just play around with it like i really have no method to my madness i'm just learning as i go and i noticed that you know a hair is longer than the other so i just move some of the hairs out and i'm just like, okay this look a little thick so i'm just like brushing it and then i'm like you know what that end part looks a little long so i'm like let's tweeze that so you just kind of like go with the flow and see what works and then you just kind of just like adjust along the way so that's just the the tips and the tricks on how to get some bomb baby hairs at least that's what i that's how i get them so try them out let me know how they work on you Okay, so next we're gonna move on. We're gonna grab a little bit of concealer that is matching our skin tone. We're just gonna kind of perfect that part. This is not something you have to do, but I feel like it does allow you to have a really bomb slash flawless um, install. And I've seen it done by different hairstylists. So I was like, let me just do it too. So I grabbed a little bit of my, of my Nairobi because I really want to flatten out those flyaways. And girl, the baby hairs look so cute. They look real effortless and they just look like such a vibe. So practice, practice, practice. I just blend in that Nairobi and then I just make sure that all of my baby hairs are gone. And, and then I grab my hot comb and I really want to make sure that it is flat. So I grab my hot comb and I just start running the flat hot comb all over my hairline. You really want to make sure that it is flat and girl, it's giving real perm vibe right now. It's giving real like effortless, straightened. It's giving like it comes from the scalp, like lace wear. Where is the lace that says? I'm really having a hard time. Like it, y'all see how my hair grew out my scalp and how it's this perfect honey blonde. On. shout out to snob life hd lace wig y'all it looks so good so next i'm just gonna grab my gots to be free spray i'm gonna spritz the top of my hair just to make sure extra precaution to make sure that my flyaways are not like poking out i really hate having flyaways nothing worse than like slaying your hair and having some flyaways so i just brush them down so now i just go ahead and i tie down my hair because you gotta protect them edges i leave it on for maybe about like five minutes or so and then i just pull her out and she's looking so cute so now i just grab my straightener i'm like maybe i just want to like bump the ends and curl them in a little bit so i curled them in a little bit and you know this is the vibe so this is the final part to the H E lace series i hope that y'all enjoyed this video make sure to thumbs up this video comment down below y'all we made it you made it congratulations you have graduated from the hd lace series <laughs> here's a recap of everything we've done so far so in part one i taught you guys how to sew in a bundle onto your wig to get that fullness yes and then in part two, I, no, I'm sorry, I'm messing up already. Part one, I still showed you how to mix that bleach and developer. And then I taught you how to apply the bleach and developer to your hair to get that bomb salon look at home. And then in part two, I taught you the secrets, the tips and the tricks to achieving a bomb natural looking hairline, which helped to really get a flawless install on part three, I must say. And then I taught you guys the secret of using the hot comb to really get it on flat, flat. And then if you guys want to avoid straightening it on your head, just straighten it in the mannequin head outside of your head. And that's how you get a bomb, like easy installation in the final step. And then in part three was the install, y'all. So I taught you guys how to do the ball cap method and how to 
achieve that glueless wig no wig glue and then i taught y'all how to get some bomb baby hairs now you've officially graduated from the hd lace wig series i love y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this and i can't wait till we go ahead and slay some hair Mwah! thank you for watching bye